Good morning and welcome to North London Allotment and it's time to tell you about all the changes. This is plot 30. Technically still my allotment until the, the 31st of March. Uh, as you can see, a lot of things have moved. It's looking quite barren. And there's a reason for that. So this plot really got to me last year, as I'm sure you're aware. All I did was pull mare's tail. That's all I had time for. So what I'm actually doing is swapping plots. So I'm moving from this plot to the one past the geodesic dome. Let me zoom in. There we go, that's it there. I've started moving things on that half. And that half will be mine on the 1st of April. So this is three plots up. This is the new one. And I've already been allowed to put things on this half. That is the poly tunnel that Amy and I have just built. Got some footage of that. Now we just have to hope it doesn't blow away. So I covered this because this is the bit I was allowed up to the strawberries here, which I think I'm going to move because they're just in a really irritating place. And to be honest, they probably are very old as well. And then this is the bit that's not mine till the 1st of April. This mound here is an asparagus bed. And there's a bit of space at the far end where I'm going to put mine. So we've already got some structure in here. Some paths. This is a fruit area. So it looks like a blackberry. Not sure what this one was. Couldn't quite tell. I don't know if it was a plum. Um, there's definitely apple trees. This shed, I'm told, is 37 years old. But look at it. It's still doing well. I'll take you around the back. Now this... I will want cleared out because this is going to be the sitting chill out area social area in amongst the fruit trees and fruit bushes so i'd like when i'm in the lottery obviously get a picnic bench stuff like that um have some fairy lights up make it a nice area to come and sit in the evenings in the summer but the lady who's got this spot is gonna come she's got some things to clear out there is mare's tail but it, it is mainly just this area at the moment so if i keep on top of that hopefully it won't be like my old plot which was covered it when i got it but you can see spring bulbs coming out how lovely so yeah there we go there's a shot of amy looking wet but you know it was pouring it's, it's lightened up now it was actually pouring when we were doing this and we tried to dig it in a bit there's the guy ropes hopefully that will be strong enough to stand up and salt my seedlings off so I don't have them all over the tiny, tiny flat. Next step will be to move the um, mini greenhouses inside for shelving and a bit of extra shelter. This bit at the front, I've just dumped some wood chip here now, like when it's there, grab it. But this is going to be a wildlife herb garden bit and then you actually get quite a bit of privacy where the fruit cage is and these bushes when those are all green you can't really see beyond it so it feels like a really nice private space. Right. Knobby bit down. Yep. Into all these. Go on. There we go. You lose it. I can't find it now. Some of them are a bit stiff. I can't get it. I can't get it in or not. Now it's stuck. Oh, there you go. Go on. No, this one's stuck. <laughs> I can't get it in. I can also put it in this one. Okay, right, dog. There we go. I can't have done two. He's done one. I told you, it's my superpower. Force. Oh my god, look at the way that's leaning already. 
four sevens, which will hopefully give it some integrity. So these go from here to here. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, it? hold on. Can you just screw them? Yeah. That way, not that way. We need nines. It's presumably the other ones in the little bag. Yeah, they are, like, nines. Well, that's okay. going to be a two-passenger. Yeah, definitely. Especially with those thick spots. And a top spot. I'm just going to do one at a time. Right, shall I hold it and then you yeah. do it? Do you want um, any to start with tools? No, I'll just screw it. Oh, your hand? Well, they just, it's just gone. Oh. So that goes there. Okay, that makes sense. I can hold it. So if you hold that while I do this one. Okay, yeah. And, oh, hold on. You have to connect the other bit at the same time. The little hoopy bit. What hoopy bit? The hoopy bit. Oh my god. Like number five. That goes through the same thing. Oh, great. So we should do five and six and five. That'll probably stay up while we wait. I know, but I haven't got any birthday money yet. Right, hold that one. I'll just put it on my card and just can't throw it back in. The good thing with these bits is they easily come out if you do make a mistake. It's not like you've got one screw everything, is it? That's the worst. Thing right, just we've tightened everything up. Right, these. So that goes in there. Oh, right, okay, this makes sense. Yeah, now. fine. And it makes it a bit sturdy. So if we do all these and then bolt in the cross ones, I think. Yeah, yeah. We're doing it. I'm so proud of us. Oh, you know what movie I watched the other night? What? Um, Sofa. Have you seen it? No. It's yeah. on Disney. It's got Matthew Fred in it. What's that movie? I thought it was going to be about a Dracula. It's not. It's about Sofa. It's about what? Is it about Bram Stoker? No. I thought it was. It's not. So have you seen the movie? Have you seen Psycho by Alfred Hitchcock? Of course. This movie gives me Psycho vibes. Oh, yeah. Join them first. It's um, oh, amazing. That? My brother recommends it. I don't like Psycho though, it's one of my least favourite Hitchcock. But it's not like it's not like the same, but I just give you like Mackie yeah. Good gives me um Norman Bates vibes. Vibe. Yeah. I like him, I don't want to No, play he's him so color. it's such a it's such a good movie. I was like my brother recommends it. 
after we had a conversation about crimson people, but I thought they were vampires the entire time. He was like, Amy, hey, did you watch? I thought you did. He's like, no, they're like incestuous ghosts. Incestuous ghosts? Look, see crimson people from Peterson. No! What? He's a classic! I've been mainly watching gardening okay. channels. Well, Crimson Peak on is YouTube. Quite old. I'm gonna just put this away. It's up. Yes. So you can hear the rain. It's up. Um, wasn't too difficult because where is it? Um, it's these things. So most of it was just to push those down, slot it in. Um, have a look at the floor though. <laughs> London clay, isn't it lovely? Um, so now I've got to put the pins in, guy ropes, and try and dig in the sides a bit so it doesn't end up the other side of Barnet. So there we go, that is the new plot, and that will be me from the first week. So it's goodbye. Download to plot 30 and hello to plot 33.